Well, here's the deal. We just finished turns five and six. So Christmas Eve until through the 27th of December, 1944. And let me tell you, these last two turns were a trip for both sides. Okay, so I validated the rules. The Germans get five victory points and they hold those by, by victory locations and they hold them in supply at the end of a turn, they win. So looking at the map, the red, the little, the towns or intersections with the red markers around them, those are victory locations. They're each worth one point. So they dashed out. They took New Chateau, which you knew. They took Sedan, which as you can see, they don't own Sedan anymore. That allied unit attacked them at one to one and rolled a five and drove them out. And they're out of supply, so unless I break them down to their single step mechanized unit, which represents by the designer's notes, all the German crewmen abandoning their vehicles and getting in their trucks and half tracks and leaving the area. So they're not, and they're not going to attack that unit pretty much is gone. All right. Same with this unit. He's not going to do nothing. Same situation. Kind of probably should have read that before I started this. So that's going to be two Panzer units that are gone. Bastogne, the Germans are still hanging tough. Okay. We got some back and forth going over here to the southeast. Germans have pushed. Then some of Patton's boys come on. They've done some pushing back, and Patton's, Patton's boys are starting to gain some numbers over here. Um, no more German reinforcements to come. A couple of stacks of uh, Allied reinforcements still yet to go. So what's on the board is what's on the board other than replacements. All right up here in the north, uh, Germans made a little ground. The, uh, the Siegfried line is just too, they're too strong when they're sitting there, so there's no sense any uh, Allies attacking them. Um, nothing really here in this corner. Uh, the Germans knocked out a unit or pushed a unit out from the 1st Infantry Division for the Big Red Run. But no ga no ground gained really right there. They're still, and that's such a waste because i got some good units sitting in there that just can't do anything. And I can't necessarily pull them out. Maybe I could thin them a little bit. But you got to, you know, to keep your attacks without losing anything, you got to stay within so many hexes of a, a sister unit inside the same division. All right, the Germans made some ground here, but see, they're down to now where they only get to use one of their 5th Panzer Army or 6th Panzer Army chits. They don't get to use both of them. So they're, they're starting to get strapped now, I guess, for supplies and stuff. And this should. I mean, you're, what, two weeks in? You're, well, you're 10 days in, 11 days into the battle. So they're probably starting to suffer. All right, now here it comes. Let's, let's put this down because this is where it all happened. Get my tripod here. All right. So the town of Hufeliz is right here. Two turns ago, the Americans owned it. And they own it right now. The Germans took it. All right. And it was their fifth point. All right. But the Americans during the turn that the Germans took it, still had their movement and their combat chits to draw. So that kind of changed the outlook. Well, it, it gave them an opportunity. They didn't have much in the area that could get here, right? So initially this German stack and this tank unit initially on a one to two drove a massive stack with an engineer out of here on a roll of six, all right? So then the so they had their fifth victory point, but like I say, it's got to be at the end of the turn, and they have to be in supply. Which now that I think about it, those two units out here to the west, they it wouldn't have been worth a nickel because they were out of supply. These guys were in there, nice, good, strong stack. The Americans attacked back at one to one, and they rolled a five. 
and drove the Germans out. Not only to drive them out, but he had to go back and he ended up taking losses because of the zones of control. Even though this freaking unit's out of supply right here. This is that unit that was way up over here. And because, and remember, I, if you remember what I said in the last video, I should have never let him get out of there. Because even though he couldn't attack, him just being right there has cost me pain. Now, he's going to cause supply troubles when these guys come around this next turn. If this guy doesn't disappear, the Germans are going to end up getting some units out of supply. Well, he'll get this stack out of supply. So that's where it stands after the sixth turn. So this game could have ended on turn five or six. But now the Germans have lost two victory locations. They're down to three points now. So now the game has to continue. And I want you to notice on the track here, hold on. Whoops, wrong way, sorry. Who arrived? You had a choice. You got, a, you got what's called a Patton and Montgomery chip. You choose which one you're going to use. Of course, I got to choose Georgie. He came on. On the other side's Montgomery. But uh, Monty was enjoying his tea, so I chose Patton. And Patton's units attacked here in Bastogne. They got a no effect. They attacked over here and drove that. There were two step, two reduced units there, but there was two steps total, so they lost one, drove them out. And he attacked here with a no effect. So... So he's got he's got a little bit of numbers over here. The only thing slowing him down is probably gonna be that mech unit right there. But uh, it looks like Patton's boys over here are gonna drive into the flank. You know, maybe they'll get as far as the Siegfried line. But if they you know if they get in behind these German forces here, that's gonna that's gonna cause some problems for the Germans. Because so supply for this game for the Americans or the Allies, you check it at the moment of movement or combat, whether they're in supply or out. The Germans, you check it on their supply check chits. Those two right there. All right. And so, you know, if those come at the end of a turn, you might be able to do a whole bunch of stuff with your German units that would probably be out of supply, which I think I had that happen two turns ago. All right, so there it is. I don't know if this is going to become a standstill or not. I know it's a boo-boo that I moved these two units out. And I don't foresee anybody, even with all the armor right there, I'm going to start doing some cheap attacks. Hopefully I get some good die rolls, which I've had a few, and then I've had a couple of crappy ones too. Fortunately, the losses are not massive. Uh, you suffer, your, your most losses get suffered when you don't have a, a retreat path. So out of supply causes a few things movement-wise and bonus-wise. You lose them that way. All right, so end of turn six. I thought it might be over, but it's not. And the fight in the Ardennes will carry on. All right, let's get this up so y'all can see what's going on. Again, this is the Deadly Woods, the Battle of Bulge, Ted Racer game from Revolution Games, 2021. All right, talk to y'all soon.